late night horror crypt of mystery theater. Tonight's film, Planet of the Undead Haunted Bugs. Got scared. Oh, that stupid movie actually scared you? Oh, you're pathetic. Nothing scares me. Is that so? Except that. <laughs> what, 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 what are you gonna do? Toot, toot. Here comes the 909, right on time! <laughs> you should have seen your face! <laughs> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no hard feelings, all right, little pal? <laughs> little pal. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, buddy, joke's over. <laughs> buddy? What have I done? Snookum, speak to me! Speak to me! Oh, me! Are you ready for your dinner already? I wonder where Snookums is. That cat. He's so happy and mischievous, so full of life. What would we do without him, huh, Meat? Well, it's almost time to leave, honey. Did you feed the animalis? Yes, but Schnookums isn't around. Don't worry about Schnookums, darling. He's bound to turn up somewhere. That crazy scab about. It's gonna be a lot more peaceful around here now. Yeah, yeah. He always talked with his mouth full and, and made this place smell funny. It's good that he's gone. I, I've done everybody a favor. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's for sure. Yep, uh-huh, yes, sir. Stay tuned for that darn dead cat. Next. Zombie cats from Brooklyn. Curse of the kitty.
<laughs> oh, now what's next? <laughs> Not really dead. Why, that little bitch in the Well, well, I guess that ghost is finally gone. <laughs> I will just walk into the living room now and. <laughs> Now, hold it, pal. <laughs> Aren't you glad to see me here? Huh? Wouldn't you miss me if I, I, I was gone, huh? I, I was just trying to show you how... It, it, it's my heart. <laughs> oh, come on, bonehead. You don't expect me to fall for that, do you? Oh, sheesh. <laughs> come on, get up, old buddy. Upsy daisy! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! He's he's really he's really gone! I oh no! Oh, I'm in big trouble now! Oh, this is this is terrible! Oh, the folks will be very disappointed to come home and find a doormat dog. Well, then of course I'll get blamed for it. And, oh no! Oh my gosh! There's only one thing to do. Sorry it had to end this way, old friend, but I can't have the folks finding your body around here, can I? I, I, I know you'd understand if you could only hear me. So long, old buddy. <laughs> I'm not really gone. I just pretended I was to teach you a cruel cool lesson. No, oh, if, if only that were true. Hey, but it is true. I'm alive. I'm alive. Don't toy with my emotions. I'll miss you. I'm, I'm, I'm alive! Today's episode, Dark of the Darker Darkness. Biff Possum, stalwart protector of the good citizens of Possum City, is hard at work in his lab with his partner, Obadiah the Wonder Raccoon, on yet another ingenious device to foil any criminal who might be foolish enough to try something shifty in this peaceful community. Okay, boss. Better climb down so we can test it. Ready for the test, sir? Say, Obadiah, tell me again why we call the Cranium Crasher Mariachi Cannon. Because that's what villains will hear if they ever get hit with this thing. Mariachi music. Hmm. Interesting. Ready to fire? Ready. Can I press the button? Of course, sir. Wait, how did... Sir, sir, are you all right? I... I... Your head looks damaged, sir. Let's try some tests. I... I... I hear mariachi music. Well, that's normal, sir, after getting blasted by the cannon like that. How many fingers, sir? Seven. Why? Oh, dear. Say, this doesn't look like a dance academy. The what? The Dance Academy, Professor Featherfoot's dance school. I'm alumni. Perhaps you've heard of me, Sergei Krashnikov. Shall I do a little Swan Lake for you? Jam and I... 
it's uh, Piff Possum, sir. He's uh, doing a little um, maintenance. Looks like he's trying to dance. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, sir. <laughs> Piff Possum dancing around like some kind of an idiot. Imagine. <laughs> of all the absurd things. Yes, I guess that would be pretty silly. A superhero of his sort that can't even dance, or would even have the time to dance when there are such evil events transpiring in our fair city. If we found him dancing around when there was work to be done, I suppose he'd just have to find himself another city to protect. <laughs> you too. Um, what evil events, sir? Some crazed fiend is rampaging through the city, stealing huge quantities of food. He's knocked over ten grocery stores and several restaurants. We're on our way, sir. <laughs> Come on, keep them coming, you minimum wage earning twits. I'm so hungry I can't get enough, you see. Uh-oh, it's supper squirrel, sir. Remember, you're not Sergei Krasnikov, you're Piff Possum, super dynamic possum of tomorrow, and you've got to... Teach that hungry little squirrel how to dance! No! <laughs> <laughs> Some super dynamic possum of tomorrow. I'm going to eat everything in town because I can. Yes, oh, this is sublime. With Piff Possum's brain damage like that, I can take Possum City to the cleaners, you see. <laughs> Ooh, ice cream is good. Hey, how are you folks, huh? Where are you from, sir? Hey, that's terrific. Boy, it's great to be back here in Las Vegas. Oh, no. Gotta get the phone, boss. Don't move. Hey, where are you going? This is funny stuff here. I mean, is this thing on? What's going on? That fiend just knocked over an ice cream stand and he's on his way to the pasta works. What happened to Pit Possum? Well, we had a little difficulty. Oh, you'll know what difficulty is if Pit doesn't stop this man, ma'am. Now get out there and be superheroes. Right away, sir. Oh my gosh, where's the boss? Meanwhile, in a sleazy nightclub in the heart of Possum City. <laughs> no, but seriously, folks. Uh, get a job. Job. Say, that reminds me. A guy goes into the employment office, and the guy there asks him what kind of a job he's looking for, see? And the... No. Wait, that's, that's not how it goes. Hey. A crowd. Okay, have you ever noticed that sometimes when you look at your watch, you quickly forget what time it's at? Don't you hate that? Hey, I'll tell you something we hate you, huh? Hold on, I got another one. Picked up the boss's signal on the possum tracker. He should be just around the corner. So, so the one fly says to the other fly, No, but it sure smells like it. Hey, ringworm is funnier than you are, huh? Oh. Get off the stage, you bug! Come on, sir. I've got to get you out of here. What's the meaning of this? I was doing great in there. Come on, sir. We've got to get to the pasta works. Supper Squirrel is on another binge. What are you talking about? I'm Shecky Schlock, the famous comedian. I'm not. Sir, your head has been badly damaged. You are Piff Possum, super dynamic possum of tomorrow, and our fair city needs your help. Otherwise, there won't be anything left to eat. Supper Squirrel will cause a famine. All right, I'm going to call my agent and... There he is, sir. Supper Squirrel. Come on, fellas. You're losing your heads. You're falling behind on my meatball quota. Hurry up, won't you? Come, sir. Get out there and stop that fiend. Hey, all right. An outdoor performance. I'll slay him. Mm. <laughs> Say, how are you tonight, huh? You know, it looks like you get quite an appetite, sir. That reminds me, did you hear the one?
Hey, baby, watch the threads, huh? All right, skinny, strike up that cuckoo tune. A one, a dose, a three. Hey, what the hell is going on around here, Jack? You guys like your gig, or you want to go back to Hoboken and wash cars? This is gonna hurt me a lot more than it's gonna hurt you, sir. <laughs> What happened? Who are you, sir? I am Pip Possum, Superdynamic Possum of Tomorrow! Hey, that supper squirrel over there, stealing more food! Hold it right there, you compulsive critter! Oh, it's Pip Possum and his head is back to normal, you see. I uh, don't suppose you have a fish stick about you that you're not going to... This is unrewarding. Good work, sir. It sure is good to have you back. Yes. Don't mention it, Obadiah. You see, it's all in a day's work for Aunt Mary, the best cornbread maker in Texas. Uh oh. our brave heroes. They had discovered that crusty Rust Knuckle had been devoured by polite coyotes. Well, what was it that first attracted you to me? Well, you're very polite, aren't you? You've got a bit of him stuck between your teeth. Oh, thanks. Tex and Chief were led by Hairboy to the still unopened safe. Yes! It looks like Tex and Chafe were home free, when suddenly a chemical reaction produced by a dull-witted scientist blew up the very planet he was attempting to save, sending away a chunk or asteroid hurtling toward Earth at an unheard of speed. Meanwhile, the wrong riders were still asleep. However, as fate would have it... It's bloody Tex Tinstar, and he's bloody well standing on your head. Well, if it isn't Tinstar. Yeah, well it is, man. And I just don't like the smell of your donuts, Rongo. I'm gonna punch you into a fried peanut butter and nanner sandwich, dude. Clam, get me laced easy. Hold it right there, Tin Star. One more step, and I'll do something very unpleasant to Mr. Lace Daisy. Like what? Like this! You wouldn't. Or I might do this. Or this! <laughs> or I might do something a little like this. You wouldn't dare. Not even you. Wouldn't I? Yeah, but even you wouldn't subject that poor sissy to being shot out of a cannon into a pool full of piranha fish. Would you? Oh, yes, I would. Well, <laughs> kiddies, it looks like Rungo is as horrible, awful, pustulant, despicable, mean, ruthless, evil, repulsive, terrible, wretched... Get on with it! And... Uh, mm. Well, anyway, what no one knew was that... So long, Lace Daisy. Rungo! No! Holy Toledo, kiddiekins! Look at this! How? What? Why? Texan everybody!
everybody are now hanging on to an asteroid that is heading at ear-curling speed.